2016 was definitely the year of driving autonomously. From Teslas to trucks, robo-drivers were everywhere. This year, Google's autonomous fleet quietly hit 2 million miles. By now, these cars really know their way around Mountain View. Tesla dropped new software updates for Autopilot, its self-driving feature that idiots quickly abused for a few seconds of YouTube fame. And while the death of a Florida driver using Tesla's Autopilot raised questions about how the technology should be applied, Elon Musk has already announced a grand plan to take his company's self-driving skills beyond the highway. He promised that sometime next year, a Tesla will take itself entirely from Los Angeles to New York City. And right now, these cars can at least get out of super tight parking spaces, which is actually pretty sweet. This year, Uber made a lot of its drivers very nervous. The ride-hailing service started testing its own autonomous cars in Pittsburgh and gave its customers a view of how self-driving tech will figure into their lives. Our test ride was mostly smooth, and a human driver has to be on hand just in case all hell breaks loose. At least for now. Lots of things besides cars are getting themselves around now. Firefighting helicopters, drones that shoot sick footage, army trucks that haul supplies, and drones that explore our ocean floors. But the best thing to drive itself? A beer-hauling big rig. Otto, the self-driving truck company that Uber bought this year, ran 50,000 cans of Budweiser from one end of Colorado to the other while the driver hung out in the back seat. The company says humans will still be needed to get the trucks on and off the highways and, you know, to buy and drink all that beer in a safe and responsible manner, of course. So cheers to our sober designated robot chauffeurs. We call Shotgun. <laughs>